and they say that uh, working in IT is sitting around and doing nothing. Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> I never imagined anything like this to ever happen. <laughs> Can you maybe tell us a little bit more about yourself? Introduce yourself and what is it that you do? I joined Dynano in uh, December 23 last year. Oh, so you're still fresh? Yes. So it's only nine months that I've been here. And uh, before this, I was working uh, in travel industry for almost 18 years. That includes the call center, that is operations, and then product management and then when I joined Dynano I was like taking care of a couple of projects like Book Piana V4 and uh, Brand Upsell but now I'm taking care of Agent Online Travel Agency which is commonly known as AOTA or ProQuote. Tell me about ProQuote. Tell someone who does not know anything about it more what it is. Okay, so basically ProQuote is a search tool that is being used by agents. Yeah. So what they do is like in case if they are receiving a call, they feed the search details over there and then the results, whatever the results of different price codes or offers that are being returned from different sources that we have, be it GDS or NDCs, those are displayed and then the agents can offer those codes to the customers. Mm -hmm. How does it ensure that it, uh, you know, retrieves and displays the most up-to-date information for our agents? When the agent receives a call or maybe he's working on a lane, so he enters the search details. And at that point of time, uh, we call another tool, which is the flight search tool, which actually interacts with GDS or NDCs or maybe any other source of uh, content that we have. So once that is done, it is done on real-time basis. So as soon as the search information is feeded, we are calling the FLST and that is calling the GDS and whatever the results we are getting are on real time. So we are not caching or we are not serving the cache results. So that's the reason those are accurate. But secondly, uh, like even when the conversation is done and we are selecting a particular PQ, PQ is the price quote or the offer that the agent has made to the customer. Yeah. And he wants to confirm it or sends the offer. So at that point of time, we do another call to the GDS just to re-verify if that particular fare is available or not. So that is how we ensure that the price that we have offered is the current price and the actual price that is available at that point. So basically, it makes the life easier for all parties involved. Yes. For the agent, for the airlines, and at the end of the day, for the customer as well. True. And it helps in the decision-making process, right? And uh, it helps agents to make recommendations and, and, and uh, you know, to, to serve their customers. Right. So, like, when uh, the search was done and the entire offers were displayed to the agents, we have, like, different filters that are available so in case if the person wants a specific airline we can choose that airlines and we will get only those results to offer or maybe in case he wants specific uh, layover time or he wants to stop in cer certain uh, airport or maybe he wants a specific baggage maybe one bag or two bags so we have all these filters so when the agent is uh, conversation let's say, uh, conversing with the uh, customer he can get all these filtered out and then offer the need I mean offer the prices or the offers as per their needs and then it could be finalized so it's only not not only a retrieval tool but basically a customization tool as well yes okay cool speaking of customization uh, how does ProQuote use direct airline APIs through NDC how does it work exactly? Again, when the search was initiated by the agent or the system, we call the internal API that is FLST, flight search tool that I just talked about. Yes. So this API is responsible for interacting with different sources, be it NDC or uh, GDS. So when we talk about NDC, uh, there are some airlines, I mean, not some airlines, but in fact, all the airlines, they want their uh, NDC content to be sold 
and they want to migrate from GDS to the NDC and that's the reason they are promoting it. So there are some fairs that you will find exclusively on NDCs and uh, like be it basic economy fairs of one airline or maybe intra uh, island fairs that are exclusively there on NDC only. Yeah. So in order to cater those needs, we have uh, integrated one of the aggregators for NDCs and which is currently serving us almost seven or eight airlines and these airlines keep on adding. So we will be having more and more airlines with these aggregators. So be it our internal customers or external customers, we will be able to offer them some exclusive content. So it's getting bigger and better, so to yes. speak. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Okay, and let's talk about the buzzword <laughs> of the decade, <laughs> like artificial intelligence, AI. Uh, does ProQuote have any AI capabilities or, or, or functions? Uh, we have an algorithm. So when the search results are offered to the agents to choose from, it goes through an algorithm which uh, decides the sorting of how the, it's being displayed. Yeah. And right now we have another project in uh, development which would be out soon, in which we would be suggesting what could be the optimal price of a particular offer. So with this, we would be able to cover, I mean, we would expect that there would be an improvement in conversion as well as the profit. And yeah, maybe in future we would have, uh, based on the data that we are collecting, we would have the, our own AI which would be suggesting what would be uh, the offer that could be made to the customer and he would be willing to go for it. That would be based on his past data, or past bookings, or the search, or the options that he selected but did not book. So we would take into consideration all this and then maybe make an offer. But that would be uh, in future right now. It's, it's just in the discussion phase. But I mean, at the end of the day, an algorithm is basically like a, a, a basic, yeah. simple version of an AI, right? True. Uh, how, how is it uh, working at Banino? Since you still have a very fresh perspective mm -hmm. and you have a very rich big background, the tour. And the best thing that I liked about working here was that you can express your ideas. And in case if you have a new idea, or you can bring that to the table, and that would be implemented. Like I just had that conversation uh, with Bruce and Alex, like not even two months back, and I suggested them something, and I see that that thing is already implemented. So that feels good, like when you know that you have given an idea that got implemented, and that is adding value to the organization, you feel of value as well so yeah when you when you think about your 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 colleagues maybe what uh, your like your direct team what makes it special what uh, made you feel welcome here i have been working with uh, people based in india or in us so i never had a uh, interaction with people uh, based in europe initially when i used to say something uh, they used to correct me, like even uh, a simple thing like when you chat with someone. In India, it's very common that you uh, keep on adding dot, dot, dot. And I recently realized that in case if you're adding those dot, 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 that means that you're trying to uh, communicate with someone and that guy is not even understanding what you're saying. <laughs> so that is different. But yeah, people, they correct you where you are wrong, but they even take the suggestion whatever you have. So uh, Europeans are more direct, but there's no ill intention yes. underneath. Let me be very direct and very professional <laughs> in thanking you for the interview. It was lovely to talk to you. Say that. Thank you for uh, shedding some light on ProQuote. Uh, and I hope it uh, helps our audience to understand better what it is that Danino does and what you do as well. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you.